Welcome back to 7-Minute Options on Tuesday, November 2nd. A short video today. I'm adjusting my SPY Iron Condor. SPY continues to go up. It's unbelievable. Everything else seems to be red here in my portfolio, including the Russell. But for some reason, the SPY continues to go up. It went up $1.30 since yesterday's close, and it has now blown past my long call. So my Iron Condor here has a $5 wide credit put spread and a $4 wide credit call spread. The short call was at 457. The long call is at 461. Now we have blown past the 461. I'm going to turn this into a butterfly and I'm going to try to even lower the risk on the put side. So if I go to SPY, there's the call, there's the put. So I'm going to close this $5 wide put spread. If I reestablish the $5 wide put spread on this side, I would go from 457 to 452. I would pick up $65 in credit. If I trim this down to a $4 wide spread here on the put side, I still pick up $48 in credit, which is great. And now my worst loss is $4, either upside or down. So I've taken $100 off my max loss here and picking up $46 in credit. And so the plan here is if it keeps going up, well, in that case, I just picked up an extra 46 bucks, so that's $46 less that I will lose. If it turns around and it starts to go back to 459, 458, right around the 457 mark, if it goes back there, I can roll out this position again and pick up credit for both the call and the put side. So that would be my reason for doing this. But I, the main reason is if SPY continues to go up and it gets away from me, at least this way, I pick up 46 extra dollars. So looking at this position here, this iron condor, I picked up $1.48 when I opened it. I rolled it, picked up $27. I rolled it, picked up $11. I rolled it, picked up $1. Um, and now we are at $1.87 total collected. Another $0.48 cents today would bring us to $2.35 if we got $0.48 cents for it. Uh, right now, okay, right now it's at $0.46, so a little bit less. All right, let's see if I can... I'll bring it down to 45. Yeah, I think the challenge there is on the on the uh, on the put side here. There isn't a whole lot of open interest, um, even though the market is quite quite narrow. There, it's a penny wide and two cents wide. There isn't a whole lot of open interest there, so I might have to wait a bit. I might even have to. Um, I'll give up another penny here just so I can get this closed. If not, I'll leave it there. It might take a, a few minutes. Oh, it closed. Perfect. Okay, I got 44 extra bucks there. So now if I look at the position, I have collected $2.31 total. Yes, there is a ton of transaction costs there because every time I roll a position, each wing costs me a dollar. So just rolling that today cost me two bucks. But um, so far, I'm doing okay. If, I, if this does get away from me, I'm not going to hold it to expiration. Obviously, I'm probably going to close it with a day or two left. Um, but hopefully it doesn't get there. My hope is that it does pull back, and as soon as it's right between 456 or 458 or somewhere around there, I can roll it out again and pick up uh, some more money on both the put and the call side, and I can keep squeezing it um, until I can just kind of whittle away my losses. But it's not bad. I mean, considering the, the max loss was $5 on the put side, now the max loss is only $4 on either side, and I just picked up even more money. So the worst I can lose on this position now is after picking up $2.31, Four minus two thirty one is a dollar sixty nine. So that's the worst I can lose on this position, um, which is not bad, not good, but not bad. Um, Zillow, man, this this thing is going for a roller coaster. So yeah, on Friday it just shot up ten bucks. Monday came right back down with ten bucks. Today it's gone down ten bucks. And so I thought this was the earnings move. So I'm like, oh cool, you know, earnings zero days away. This must be the earnings move because I got the eighty. 120 short put short call so yeah it's a great you know the um i'm still within my uh, my strangle so this is great i'm like hmm, that's interesting if this was the earnings move how come the iv hasn't collapsed the iv is still up at 72 and i realized this is not the earnings move this is extremely rare for a stock to move this much on the day of earnings before the earnings are announced apparently what happened was some analyst came out today and said that a lot of the houses that zillow had bought speculatively bought are now underwater so zillow is looking to offload thousands of homes at a loss and so as soon as that report was published um, it hit zillow pretty hard but i mean look we're still within our strangle 80 put 120 call as soon as the earnings are announced after the bell 
I believe it's after the bell today. Yeah, there's a little arrow on the right side. After the bell today, um, as long as we are within 80 and 120, um, I expect the IV to be much, much lower tomorrow after we have a better idea of what the earnings look like. And we'll still be within 80 and 120. And then we'll be, we'll be able to close this strangle for a, for a profit. That's the, that's the goal there. But that's it. Short video today. All right. Thanks. Bye.